What's up everybody on the Mangoes? You are awesome and I've got some Quang gameplay for you today. Now, don't expect to see an amazing highlight reel video here. This is just me digging my heels in, not surrendering, and playing the line for our quarterback Twin Blast. The comp we ended up with is really good for front to back team fighting, so instead of just trying to be the star of the show, I stayed in the front to soak up abilities and ultimates while also keeping an eye on our back line to provide peel when they got jumped. This is also a rare game where I got a little bit testy with our jungler, but I think I ended up handling that well and gave him good advice instead of passive-aggressive flaming. I chose this particular game to show that tanking for your team doesn't always mean jumping into the enemy backline and leaving your ADC exposed. Sometimes it just means just being annoying as hell while keeping your backline safe. We're up against an offlane Chimera, which I had actually uh, considered playing this match, which is kind of funny that... Uh, Ended up going against it. Now, uh, Offlane Chimera is not too bad because he does get regen stacks off of the minions. The uh, Achilles heel, of course, though, is he has no escape. So if you have an experienced jungler, uh, this shit is not going to work out in your favor. Uh, it, it's just not going to work for, for the Chimera, especially if they gank early. However, we did not have an experienced jungler. I don't. They came over like one time to gank, and it was like a half-ass gank that didn't work out so well. Uh, so, yeah... The, the, the offlane chimera works, but if, if you do see this as a jungler, if you're playing jungle and you see this, uh, you need to go in on it. Um, there were a few times that I could have punished it and, and gone in, but the thing is, if I go in too hard, all that's going to happen is that he's going to blink away and then just regen. So I have to bait out his blink before I can go in for the kill on the chimera, and I need the jungler to help me do that because... I'm Quang. I don't have a huge amount of burst damage. I just got my combo. And this Chimera, of course, realized how to play Quang. I think this Chimera had played Quang before because he was he was waiting. He, he would watch me sing, swing twice and then he would, you know, avoid me until I, I I no longer had the uppercut to hit him with. So this is a little unfortunate. And um, yeah, nothing really happened in this lane for freaking ever. It was like... <laughs> It was like 10 minutes in and I was still 0-0-0. Zero, zero, and zero. Uh, I did try and gank the duo lane once and it didn't uh, didn't work out. They, they were under tower uh, whenever I had the opportunity. But yeah, this is um, this goes on for quite a while with no, neither of us really gaining the upper hand. Uh, well, I will say that the Chimera kind of gained the upper hand because of his regen. Um, every time we had an exchange, he would heal up from it. And I wouldn't, and it would end up forcing me back. So, kind of unfortunate. And that's uh, that's how you play Chimera offlane. Uh, this guy did a good job of it. Again, though, if if if, if you got a Grux, Fing Mal, um, we have a Chimera ourselves. We could have punished this pretty hard, this offlane Chimera, and we did not, which is which kind of sucks. Our Chimera finally comes in the gank leaps on him uh and then he backs off i went in um I, I, you don't see this a lot from chimera players you usually see them once they go in they're in so i went in and then i ended up backing off because he wasn't there and then he came back in so this was just uncoordinated as hell from us uh i think if i would have been in comms with this guy we could have coordinated and actually got this chimera but uh he sticks around and of course exactly as i said once we actually get a little bit close to punishing him he just blinks away but now his blinks off cooldown is on cooldown so that's good at least we got his blink out and i kind of screwed up this game because i built ghost axe first ghost axe is the uh it's, it's an item that gives you heal reduction on hit i should have just went zemia's toy zemia's toy does the same thing when you get hit and it just it deals damage zemia's toy would have been a much better option than freaking ghost axe Now, uh, Prime Underling is up. Our Chimera is not in lane, so I pinged that he was missing. Then I pinged Danger on the actual um, Prime Guardian, because I know that's what they're doing. That, that's that got to be what they're doing. We, we don't see their jungler. We don't see their Kai. And, it, yep, there's Kai on the uh, the Guardian. That's one of your jobs as offlaner is to ward this thing. And um, I, I didn't think I could really kill him here, but I wanted to be able to at least hold out long enough for my team to arrive. So he's kind of playing ring around the rosy. He's using the, uh, he's he's using he's, he's I'm the kind of getting three man right now. Um, our gadget comes in, so does their Wukong. But we we still got a chance here. They ended up taking it though because uh, our juggler wasn't there to smite it. Unfortunate. I tried to just keep Wukong off of our gadget. Their Belica comes in, 
It's just a fucking mess right now. And uh, we ended up, we didn't even get the kill on Wukong. Unfortunate. And there you see the obligatory surrender vote that you get in every game, no matter how it's going. See this fight breaking out in the jungle and it's uh, Narbash and Kai. It looks like Narbash is out. Uh, Kai's in there. I'm not too concerned about trying to protect this Kai, to be honest. Uh, so I do go in on the uh, Bel... I want to keep the Bellica busy because Bellica will destroy your support with her ultimate if she gets half a chance. And uh, actually dash through her knockup, which was quite nice. Now our Twin Blast is here. So I dash through. I want... I, I turned around. I didn't chase those kills down. I want to make sure that this Chimera doesn't go after our Twin Blast. And um, note to self here, I need to save my uppercut for after he ambushes from now on. And our Twin Blast is laying it down, gets the kill on the Chimera. So this is when I really transitioned into tanking. Rolling into this mid lane team fight, and the tides are kind of starting to turn for us. I throw my sword, I jump in. I don't want to stay around too long. I just wanted to see if I could bait out any ultimates, which I did not. Unfortunate, but that's fine. Now their Chimera is here, so now my focus is going to shift, not, not from engaging onto this team, but uh, keeping onto the Chimera. So I retracted my sword there because I didn't want the Chimera to jump onto our back line and start fucking him up. I need, I need to be able to uppercut him away from our team if anything happens. And right now he's off into the jungle. I know he's going to try and flank. That's what he's going to try and do. So pop in on this Bellica, got the blink out of her, which is nice. And we got an ultimate out of Sparrow coming, coming. She was coming off the top ropes there. We got an ultimate out of Decker. It's not going to do much. They're not, they're not pushing in on us because they can't do much to me because I'm fairly tanky right now. Now the Chimera is leaping in. So now we immediately switch up to Chimera. He ults me. So that's a Sparrow ult, a Decker ult, and a Chimera ult down and uh, to no avail. They do get me with a Bellica ultimate. Uh, Belka did pop me with her ultimate. That's, but I ate four ultimates there. I ate four ultimates, and our team is able to push through. I don't care if I die, if fucking four of them die, right? I, I call I call that a successful trade. That's what I call that. I got caught out pretty hard here. I knew they were coming over to me. I didn't know how close they were. I didn't know the Kai was already in the bushes. So I throw my sword, and he ults me. So that's one ult down. We'll go teleport back to our sword to see if we can escape through the bushes. He immediately leaps upon me. And then Decker hits me. Now I'm caged in. I'm caged in with the Kai. Knock him up and try and flee away. Here comes Sparrow. There's the Sparrow ultimate down. Teleport back to my sword. Run back through the bushes. And th so that's a Chimera ultimate. That's a Decker ultimate. That's a Sparrow ultimate. I'm extremely low, but uh, I'm not zero. So I'm going to head back in and see if I can help protect a little bit. And uh, we're getting healed up by, by Narbash. I probably could have es escapade there, but um, Chimera did end up getting the kill. But, you know, Chimera was able to ult the Twin Blast. Decker wasn't able to ult the, the, the Narbash and the Twin Blast. And Sparrow wasn't able to get her ultimate off because they wasted it all on me, chasing me around. We're pushing up through mid, and this is one of my favorite places to place a ward. So, and, and of course they're coming in, but I, I want to prevent them from flanking. I don't, I want to be able to see them coming if they're going to try and go in our back line. They set up a little party bush here, but I think the enemy team knows. Bellic is kind of scouting around from the uh, fog wall. Chuck the sword order, keep her in place, and uh, she immediately dies. That was uh, really, really well done from our team. Uh, Belka should not have been pushed up that far without knowing where we were. Because uh, they were, they, again, they were all set up for the party bush. And we have, a, we have an advantage right now. We have a, this is a 5v4, so I want to depress it. Um, Narbash and Twin Blast go in, and they are immediately met by Kai. I ulted a little too soon, but I'm going to dive in. Um, I wanted to get into their back line, but Kai is in our back line. So, of course, I'm going to uh, immediately redirect and go after Kai. So now Sparrow's teeing off. Uh, we got Wukong. I'm just in the back line doing whatever I can, but... I'm also keeping an eye. You see, I turn around because I want to keep an eye on our back line to make sure that they're not dying. So I ended up getting killed, but look at them. They're all very low because they were all focused on me. I have, um, I'm building Zinx Claw Barrier, and they're, so they're kind of killing themselves whenever they kill me. 
and our team is able to, to to clean up. Again, I don't care if I die if it means we get multiple kills off of it. This is where I get a little testy. Off the heels of that last fight, um, they decided to do Prime, uh, Narbash, and Twin Blast. Now, I've I played with this Twin Blast before. I know he's really good. I wasn't queued up with him or anything, but I, I know that this guy's good. i played with him before. So there's a Decker Ultimate, and our, our Chimera was farming the whole time. Uh, he, I mean, he's in, in the game now, but, like, where was he this entire time? And they ended up taking Prime. I died. Uh, we, we lost Prime. I died. Um... Chimera died. Uh, all we got was their Deckers. Was like, who gives a shit? Uh, that was just a terrible fight. Um, so, I, you know, I got a little testy. I asked, you know, hey, where was our jungler? That was a little passive aggressive. But, you know, people started saying some shit about him. I responded, you know, he's probably not bad. He's probably just new to the role, which I think is true. He's probably good in plenty of other positions, but he kind of got... In the draft, he got forced in the jungle, and he picked Chimera, which you see a lot of people do if they're inexperienced with jungle, even though Chimera is a pretty damn good jungler right now. Um, but then I just ended up just kind of letting him know, hey, man, uh, we need you and your smite at these major objectives. So hopefully um, I said that in a nice enough way where he didn't take it as flaming and that he just took it as good advice for in the future. Their Wukong jungle has been burning these objectives all game long. They almost got Spirit King series summoned this match. I don't. I thought they had fixed this shit with the sword, where it would just go over the ledge instead of into a fucking ledge. Uh, that was a little unfortunate, and I'm so I'm just kind of missing everything. Now we got Wukong uh, into our back line. I'm going to try and take him out. His um his clones are hitting me, but they're also damaging him because again I'm building Zinx Clawberry and I have it completed right now. So. Uh, their Chimera is pushing into our core. So we see this Decker. I'm not going to chase this Decker. I don't give a shit about Decker. I'm not I'm not going to kill her myself. If my team wants to go kill her, cool. If they don't kill her, I don't think that's that big of a deal. What I do think is a big deal is this Chimera pushing our inhibitors. So I went back to defend that instead of chasing the kill down on the, uh, on the Decker. And I think our team ended up getting that kill on her anyway. So fuck it. We pushed up pretty hard on the heels of that team fight. Now, I just wanted to show you that Towers and Overprime are very tanky, and they hit really hard early game. Once you get some, uh, just a, like a little bit of armor, like I, I have Zemia's Toy Zinx Claw Barrier, and I'm starting to build into Berserker's Helm. You see, I was actually gaining health because of the Narbash while, while taking Tower Shots. So yeah, you can eat those Tower Shots like, like fucking breakfast. Um, honey bunches of Tower Shots there. Don't, yeah, don't worry about it late game. If you're building tanky, just step into that tower and take it out. Now, we are uh, transitioning over to take take you on this Chimera. So, I just got stunned by Decker. I didn't even know she was close. I know this Kai isn't going to kill me anytime soon. And our our uh, Twin Blast is there. He The Kai ulted me. I think he's starting to get... Um, he, he was doing really, really well at the beginning of this game. I think he's starting to get a little bit scared, uh, especially of our Twin Blast. And he's starting to make a few mistakes. And then we got... Stupid uh, Wukong coming after us. Knock him up. And I think, and yep, our Twin Blast is able to take him out. This, I mean, tanking like this is kind of dependent on having a good ADC and having just a good team in general. Because we have the Narbash healing our backline um, and, and healing us, and because we have Gadget throwing the big bombs from way behind, and we got our Twin Blast stepping up and getting these kills, that's the reason we're able to front the back team fight like this. Now, I showed you earlier how you don't meet, need minions to tank the tower for your team. However, you don't want to do this either. We had minions coming in. I didn't need to be taking these tower shots, but that first minion got decimated by the first shot. And I'm just kind of showing off right now. I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit about this tower. I'm going to hit it. But the rest of my team isn't hitting it. Um, they finally step up to start hitting it. I didn't need to take this much damage. I could have backed out at any time and let the tower focus on the minions and then went back in. Like, I, I don't know why I did that. We ended up taking the tower anyway, so cool and here we are at the end of the game we went from a game where our team wanted to surrender it looked like we were just done for because they had like all of our tier one towers down we didn't have any of theirs down they were pushing on our inhibs now we have all their inhibs down we have their core down quite a bit 
and we're just going to continue what we're doing. I wanted to back out here, but then Narbash got uh, caught by the Decker cage. So I jumped back in, and we're just going to back back on out. I was calling for a retreat, but uh, if they step up too far, we could turn this around on them. We got Nar we're, we're gathering around Narbash like a big green fire. And then, yeah, uh, I just wanted... I didn't teleport to my sword immediately because I just wanted to keep them off of Narbash while we retreated. But they're pushing in really far. And uh, I went ahead and ulted up so that I have my stun. And now we just, we're just turning the tides. Um, I've got low health, but it's not zero. So we're going to keep pushing in. Uh, just taking all the attention on myself so the Twin Blast can step up and just decimate people. And now that they are being decimated... Oh, that was such a close thunk. That was such a close thunk. Now that they are being decimated, easy victory. They, they were focused up on us instead of defending their core, and we won. Mangoo!